In my past few videos, I talked about the things that I bring for my travel. And this is one that I always bring along. This is my fluid head for my video camera. Of course, when you're talking about travel, you're talking about portability, something to make everything light, something to make everything compact. And uh, well, this is not it. This is not light. This is not compact. And yeah, I'm always looking for something better. And so I found this product. This is the newer GM27 fluid head. here just the manual and here you go now comparing it with the older one as you can see this thing is uh, taller but a little bit more compact and they're pretty much almost the same weight this thing I think weighs about 300 370 grams something like that and this is pretty much the same weight however this thing offers a lot that this one doesn't do I'm gonna start off with the ball base so this is the base and it's got a ball in here and what does that do if I loosen it I can actually change the angle of the fluid head so I don't have to mess around with my tripod, you know, if I'm on an unlevel floor, I don't have to change the, uh, the height of each feet just to level it out. I can do it on my camera right here. And there's actually a level, bubble level here, as you can see. I don't know if that's going to be much usable. It's so small, but yeah, you could, you could use it at some point. Now, going to the other part of this, you have the fanning. You can see, you can move it like that, 360 degrees. And this is very smooth. I can say that this is very smooth. Now the handle, as you can see the handle right here, if I loosen it up, I can change its position. So depending on how comfortable are you with what you're doing, and then unlock this you can stretch it out extend it if you extend it if you loosen it up too much well you can actually remove this but I don't want to do that and I think I have my head extended it too far but there you go so I'm just gonna tighten it up okay that should be good enough now I can also change the tilt as you can see but difference here if I do that, this thing automatically comes back, unless I lock it, of course. Now, on top is an Arca Swiss quick release. And I always like quick release. And there you go. This thing has some, so this two here, so it hits this part. So if you have it, it's not going to fall off. But if you've been watching my previous video, you know that I love a better quick release system. And so that's what I am going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Polcom quick release system. Put it here. Gonna make sure that it's tight because one thing that this one doesn't have are these two screws at the bottom so if it's not tight enough it could loosen up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna tighten up give me a sec here well i hope that's tight enough and voila what i'm gonna do is if i can find my sub right here And this is what I'm looking for. Okay, so put this thing here. 
this is my table tripod but I'm you know I have my big tripod but um, for this for the purpose of this presentation I'm just gonna use the small one okay. there you go now now that's a true quick release system and I tighten things up and here you go as you can see the ball head here allows you to make all this tilts so if I go here and I'm checking if it's fully level and then once that level I can tighten it up oh, I can tighten it up like that here you go so now that it's level I can change this so look at that how smooth that is and again depending on what I'm doing I can change this so if it's too low I can lift this up and I can change the angle right here to tilt this is so smooth I love it Actually, yeah I mean for getting those video shots wow this is amazing this is amazing and I thought let's tighten that up so now the tilt is locked I can still have my padding right here now according to their website this thing has a capacity of a four kilograms mm, that's a lot or 8.8 .8 pounds and I mentioned a while ago this is about 300 this is actually 370 grams and the handle length you can extend it from 5.7 inches to 9.5 inches that is so nice and with the Palcam system that I'm using uh, I this is actually converted into a real quick release system like that amazing there you go of course you can lock this thing so you can't push it there you go and now I could test this so let's see I'm gonna loosen it and I'm gonna let it slide is it gonna fall there you go it is holding it I'm a little bit worried because my Falcom doesn't have this on both sides so the only thing is you really got to tighten it up you got to make sure that this is really tight so it's holding up the ball cam you don't really need it um, this is just for a quick release but you could also use this because uh, this thing right here it already comes with a plate underneath I don't know if you can see that that's the plate right there so you can actually put it directly but I wanted the better a quick release system like I said so there you go and then go back I love it okay so that settles it I am leaving this one and this is gonna be my go-to travel video head wow like that I don't know if you could make it a little bit tight there you go you can you don't want to do that this is very fluid buttery smooth okay once again thank you for watching and please don't forget to click that like share subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when a new video is out and i will see you on my next one bye oops i forgot one thing actually two things it has a, an allen key uh, that's stored within the unit itself as you can see here i don't know if you can see that there is a magnet right there so you can just drop it in there's the allen key and that's not gonna fall and of course you have a converter here to 3 8 and 1 port so if you have a 3 8 you can just remove this and if you have the usual one port you can just leave it in and then attach it to your tripod that's it folks on to the next one bye